hello guys so welcome once again to mount text media in this video i'm going to show you how you can make money from screw international money transfer or nestle international money transfer you can transfer from your screw account to your gray account or from your screw account to your gig pay account or from screw to wise or from screw to payday or from screw to any other international bank account that you wish to send to even your pioneer account so i'm going to put you through on how you can do that and how you can make above five thousand naira every day just with this screw international money transfer or nitella international money transfer with this screw international money transfer you can buy the loss at rate of 510 naira and you can sell it at rate of 855 naira or 860 something naira it all depends on the method you want to use so ensure that i watch the video to the end so that you don't miss any important information on how you can make this profit okay so that's how you can make more profit using this screw or Nestle international money transfer right so before we proceed Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get more videos on how to make money online by going down to this red subscribe button here. So once you tap on it, you subscribe. You now go down to this bell icon here. So once you tap on this bell icon here, so you set your bell notification to all so that once I post any new videos on how to make money online, you'll be the first person to see it and start making money immediately. You now go ahead to give this video a thumbs up by liking this video here. Once you tap on it, then go down to this comment section below and tell me what you feel. Or maybe if you have any question, you drop it in the comment section below or you tell me what you feel about the video in the comment section, okay? Just go to Google Play Store and search for Screw, or you can go to your web and type www.screw.com. Then go ahead and register and ensure that you verify your account before you start using your Screw account. Okay, you can do this with Screw and you can also do it with your Netela account. All right, so this is my Screw dashboard right now. You can see how it looks like in case you don't know what Screw looks like. So what I want to do here is Screw International Money Transfer or Netela International Money Transfer. All right, so if you are here and you're sure you verified your account, you now go over to these three horizontal lines by this top left so once you tap on it it will bring you to these options here where you see dashboard deposit withdraw transfer exchange and others so what we want to do now is we want to transfer funds so you now go over to transfer there's something you have to know about screw or Nestle international money transfer one thing you should know is there are two ways you can do screw international money transfer or Nestle international money transfer and that is number one by making a deposit into your account first for example you can just go over to this deposit option here use your card and make a deposit which will reflect in your wallet so once you see it in your wallet you can now go ahead and tap on this withdraw option here but once you go to this withdraw option here you will see okay it's actually opening or oh i have insufficient funds in my account but if it opens you see an option where you can withdraw this fund into your bank account but they will actually charge you uh the sum of 11 euros for that which is actually very costly unless you have a huge sum of money like uh, 800 euros or something so that once they remove the charges of 11 euros you now have something left but since we are not actually using this method because of the fees, let's go over to the next method, which is transfer method. So don't forget that I said earlier on that there are two ways you can do script international money transfer or Nestle international money transfer. Number one is by making direct deposit. So once you make a deposit on your script account, you now have the funds in your wallet. So you can now go to withdraw option. So from there, you can now withdraw the money into your foreign bank account. All right. So that is for the first method. As for the second method, you now go over to this option here, the three horizontal lines by the top left. So once you tap on it, you now go down to this transfer option here. So once you are there, you allow it to load. Now you can see that there are different things you can do on this screw account. Even your Netela has the same function. You can transfer from your screw to screw. And if you are using Netela, you will see Netela to Netela. And the next option says international money transfer. This is the same thing with Netela as well. And if you also go down, you will see request money. We are actually transferring funds. So we are going to use the second option that says international money transfer. We now tap on it. And if you look here, you see that everything is free and it is actually very fast and it is international that means we're actually sending to an international bank account so let's go ahead and tap on this international money transfer so once you tap on it you now allow it to open all right so it now brings us here and you will see that uh, we have two different options here you send from nigeria and you receive in you will see the country so if you are sending from your own country it depends on the country you're actually sending from so you will see your country here you send from you see the country here i'm sending from nigeria and that's why you can see nigeria from here all right and uh, the next option says they receive so where are you sending to which country and which currency are you actually sending out so if it's the united kingdom which is pounds you will see it here uk and your currency is pounds then for this video i actually want to send in dollars you will see that i can send using dollars and the person will receive it depends on the currency you are actually 
expect the person to receive the money in. So once you tap on this option here that says GBP, you tap on it, you see different currencies and different countries that you can send to from your Skrill account. This is also the same thing with your Netela account. But the difference between this, your Skrill and your Netela is the, there's one country here that is not in Netela for now. For example, Lithuania, where is it? Lithuania, that is this particular country here. That is this country here. This country is not in Netela, but you can find it here in Skrill. And also, you can use Skrill to transfer money directly to Kenya bank account, but you can't do it with Netela for now. They can decide to add the feature tomorrow, but for today, the feature is not there. All right, so that is how you can do this. So for now, I'm actually sending to United Kingdom account because I actually want to receive the funds in pounds. So let me go ahead and select uh, United Kingdom, which is pounds. So I now tap on it, all right? So you now come here and enter the amount you are sending in dollars depending on your card limit. So it all depends on the limit of your card. So so for now, let me try $20 and see if it goes. You now come over here and type in $20. But if you have a card that has a limit of $10,000, you can decide to go ahead and send $10,000 or even less or more. It all depends on the limit of your card. So let me go here and type in $20. All right, so the next one is a... Uh, the person will receive 16.83 pounds. You can see that. So my $20 will give me 16.83 pounds. And if you go down, you will see that the person will receive it through bank account. And then I'm actually paying with a debit card. If you also scroll down, you will see that the money should arrive in an hour or less than an hour. Sometimes, even most times, it arrives in less than an hour. It all depends on the currency you are sending to. Sometimes, if you are using euro, euro sometimes delays. But if you are sending to pounds, pounds is actually instant. It all depends. All right, so if you go down, you see that the fee is zero fee. That means you're actually not paying anything for this transaction. And uh, the total to pay is $20. That means there is no extra fee. That's good by us. So now go down to this continue option here and you tap on continue. So once tap on continue, allow it to open. So once it opens, you'll see these three options here. And up here, you will see my bank account because I've actually added my bank account here. And you can also send to another person's bank account because this screw international money transfer. On Netsla international money transfer allows you to send funds from your screw to a foreign bank account or from your Netsla to an international bank account, okay? So if you're sending to yourself, you can go ahead and tap on send to myself. And if you're sending to someone else, you can go ahead to send to someone else. If you're sending to a business, you can select send to business, okay? So at the you don't have your bank account added here on screen already, you can decide to go to these options here, any of these options here. So let me go for send to someone else. So you now tap on it. All right, so once you're here, you see an option for recipient details. You see an option for first name, last name, nickname, but nickname is optional, it's not compulsory. And if you also scroll down, you see bank details where whereby you enter the account number and the sort code before you now go over to continue so you can add these account details. You can send money from here to your WISE account. You can also send money from here to your Payoneer account. You can also send from here to your GRE account or from here to your GigPay or from here to your Payzera. It all depends on where you want to send to. You can also send from here to your Payday account. As long as you're actually sending to international bank account, it will go. So what you have to do right now is to go to that your international bank account details. You now go and note the first name there, the last name there in case you're not sending to yourself. Then if there is any nickname you wish to add there but it is not compulsory, you can leave the nickname option because it is not compulsory. Then when you go down, you will see the account number option. If you are using WISE account, you now go to GBP WISE account details. That is pounds account details on WISE. If you want to send to WISE, you now copy the account number there and also the sort code there. If you are sending to any other international bank account whatsoever, I just go there and copy the account number and the sort code there okay so for now i want to make this upgrade because if i use wise many of us don't really have international passports or maybe driver's license to verify their wise account so let me go ahead and use gray or gig pay for this because most of us have gray accounts and many of us have gig pay accounts as well so if you don't have gray accounts and if you don't have gig pay account because you can also verify this with just your nim all right, so this is great. If I had to create an account with Gray, can you go down in this video description and see a link that will bring you to this environment so that you can go ahead and create your Gray account. All right, so once you tap on that link, it will bring you here. You now go down to create an account if you don't have an account with them already so that you can create an account, okay? Then if you have an account, just go straight and log into your account. So let me pause this video and log into my own account. All right, so once you log into your Gray account, don't forget to use my referral code to register on Gray. You will see it down there in the video description, or you will also see it on the screen right now because I'll put it on the screen for you to see and register for your Gray account. So once you go here, if you want to see your account number on Gray, 
once you go here by the top right here you now tap on the three horizontal lines there so once you tap on it you go down to this option that says account and report so once you tap on account and report you see your account number so you can now come here and fill the details in your Skrill account or your Netila account. So it depends on where you're actually sending to. If it's your wise, you come here and fill in the details there. So I'm not filling anything here because I've actually added my account details on this Skrill account. So let me go straight and tap on it. it. So once you tap on it, it will appear like this. It will come up like this. So you have to go through everything you've entered and ensure that everything is correct. You will see the account number here. You see the sort code. So from there, you can make corrections if you wish to make any correction. All right, so the next thing is for you to ensure that everything is correct. You see the, the rate, that's the exchange rate here, which is a $1 is 0 0.8417 pounds, which is actually good compared to other platforms. You now go down to confirm. So once you tap on this confirm option here, it will bring you to this option whereby you have to enter your card details. So let me pause this video as I enter my card details. All right, so once you are done entering your card details, you now go down to pay USD 20. It depends on the amount you're actually paying. You can go ahead to remember your card if you wish to use the option, but I don't really like using that option. So let me go down and tap on pay USD 20, which is paid $20. So you now tap on it. All right, so you allow it to process. Now it brings you here whereby you have to enter the code sent to either your phone or your email so that you can verify this transaction. All right, so now go ahead and enter your code here. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get more videos on how you can make money online and also how you can be productive online, okay? So you now type in your code here. You tap on submit. All right, so you can see that the transfer is now successful. We've successfully transferred this phone to our Gray account. So let me now go over to my Gray account and continue the remaining ones, okay? Now let's go and know how much profit we've made just from this, all right? All right, so to see the card I use for this, kindly go down to the video description. You will see a link to my Telegram group. Join it. I've actually pinned the card I use for this transaction there. Once you get there, you will see the card I use for this, okay? So you can see that I've sent you $20 and I'm going to receive 16.83 pounds in my gray account. So if you are sending it to your wise account, you also receive the same amount in your wise account. If you are sending it to your Payoneer or maybe your GigPay account, you also receive the same amount in that account you are sending to. Okay, so let me go to gray because I actually sent it to gray account. So you can see that instead of the money appearing as a available GBP balance, it appeared as a pending GBP balance. So what we should do right now is wait for the money to reflect in our available GBP balance because as it is here right now, we can use the money until Gray moves it to this place. So in case you encounter something like this, just wait for the money, maybe for some hours, so that Gray can bring it up to this available GBP balance. But normally, it's supposed to reflect here instantly. But sometimes, if you encounter something like this, that means maybe Gray is having some network issues or something. Just wait for it to. Uh, move the money to this available GBP balance. So let's wait for some time. All right So if you are using Netela as well, let me show you how to do it from Netela because it's actually the same thing So if you are using Netela, you now go down to this option that says transfers here If you are using app, you now go down to this transfers option here You tap on it. You now go over to international money transfer You can also see that it is free and it is fast. It is also international. So once you tap on it once you tap on it, you can also see that everything is the same thing with Screw. All right, so here it says Euro, but if you are sending to UK, you can now come here and look for United Kingdom. All right, so let's scroll down. You see that that Lithuania I told you is not here in Netela. Maybe they can still decide to add it tomorrow, but, but for now, that country is not here. You can see after I, you see M, there is no L at all. But Screw has more countries than Netela. So let me assume you are sending to United Kingdom. We now select United Kingdom. All right, so from here, you can now go ahead and type in the 20 dollars if that's what you want to send using netela because you can start to use netela or screw it is actually the same thing you can see that you're receiving 18.84 pounds in your maybe your wise account or your gray or your paid day it all depends on where you're actually sending to and you will see that the money will arrive in an hour or less than one hour and you'll be receiving 20 dollars and the fee is zero dollars that means the fee is free and you're actually sending to bank accounts and the person and you are paying with debit card you can see that here don't forget that on screen you can send to kenya bank account directly and the person receives it almost instantly so you can go down if you're using netela and tap on continue so it also brings you here the same thing with screw 
you can now select if you are sending to yourself or to someone else or to business and for the ones you've actually added if you have an account added here already maybe you've sent money to a bank account it to appear as your existing recipient so from there you can now select the ones you want to send to if you want to send from your existing recipient but if you want to add new ones you can now go over to send to someone else so I can add new recipient. You can see the same thing on screen. First name, last name, nickname, which is not compulsory, account number, and sort code. So once I don't finish these options, you now go down to continue. Okay? So that's how it works with Skrill and Netela. On Netela, we call it Netela International Money Transfer, N-I-M-T. On Skrill, it is called Skrill International Money Transfer, S-I-M-T. So whichever one you are using, they are actually the same process. Alright, so you can see that my money is now available as the available GBP balance. You can see there. And if you also scroll down to the history, you also notice that I actually sent 16.83 pounds to this account from Skrill. And what I received was 16.66 pounds. That's because of their fees. Because whenever you send any money to your Gray account, even your GigPay account, they remove about 1% of the money and credit you with the rest. So that's how it works, okay? So that's why you are seeing 16.71 here. It's actually 16.66, but I actually have some money here. That's what made it 16.71. All right, so let's go ahead and withdraw it to a Nigerian bank account. If you look here, you see that there are different currencies here. There are different uh, wallets here. We have Indian wallet, Pounds wallet, Euro wallet, USD, Kenya shillings wallet. You see a uh, Uganda wallet and others, but if we want to withdraw this to a Nigerian bank account, we need to move it to a Nigerian wallet. And if you tap on our Indian wallet, you notice that there is no money there. The money is actually in our pounds wallet because we send money in pounds. So what we should do right now is to convert this money so that it will now be in Indian wallet. Then from this Indian wallet, you can now withdraw it straight to a Nigerian bank account. And how do we do that? You now scroll down. You now go down to this option that says swap gbp if you want to send this money out you can tap on send gbp but we want to swap it to nigerian naira so you now go down to swap gbp so if you tap on it all right you see that you're actually sending from gbp balance which is 16.71 pounds so the next option says what balance are you transferring this money to so that should be a nigerian balance we tap on indian balance all right so you now tap on it the next one says amount to swap so how much are you swapping if you look here you see that the rate is 942 naira per pound so how much do you want to swap do you want to swap everything or you want to leave some portion in your wallet so i actually want to swap everything so let me go ahead and type in 16.7 okay let me, so let me use the actual money we received so that we can know the profit we made here 16.6 is all right don't worry i'll still show you the amount i was debited and how much profit we made for this you've seen the amount we received here 15,533.58 all right so let's go ahead and tap on here so that we can confirm this transaction so you now tap on i confirm to be debited 16.66 pounds to my balance you now come down here and tap on proceed so once you tap on proceed you will see that you've swapped this successfully you have moved this phone from your pounds wallet to your naira wallet okay so let's tap on okay got it so the funds is now in your naira balance you can see it here all right so you can see that your gbp to naira conversion was successful you can also see that gray has actually sent us a message here all right so let's go back to our wallet and now go back to home so from this home now you will see that we don't have any money again in our pounds wallet except the one we had before you now see that our euro there's nothing there but in our naira balance in our naira balance you can see that we have this money here 15,534.06 which was the amount we swapped from our pounds wallet okay so next one is for you to now scroll down you now scroll down you see an option that says deposit naira send naira and swap naira so what we want to do right now is we want to send this money now to our bank account all right so we now go down to send naira you tap on send naira so it depends on where you are sending it you can send it to your own personal bank account or you can send it to somebody if you want to transfer money to someone okay so if you come here if you want to send it to someone using gray you will see that you can send it to the person's gray tag if you want to send it to someone on gray platform okay then if you want to send this money to an account number you've sent money before using your gray account you can select send to save beneficiary but, but if the account you are actually sending to is not saved on your gray account you can now go over to send to a new recipient let me show you how you can add a new recipient so you now go down to send to a new recipient all right so this third option here you can see that we are actually withdrawing this money 
and this next option says amount to withdraw i will join everything or you want to leave some portion here i'm actually withdrawing everything so we have 15 5 3 4 point zero six fifteen five three four point zero six and if you look here you see that we have a fee of 35 naira that means no matter the amount of money you are withdrawing you will pay 35 naira as your fee then you now go down to this account number you enter the account number you are sending to you select the bank then you go down to this option that says description but it is not compulsory you can decide to leave it or you can decide to put something there you now tap on i confirm to be debited that is if you want to add new recipient but if you had to add, so once you are done filling these options, then you now go down to validate beneficiary so that they will confirm if the account number is correct or not. But I'm not adding this because I already have an account number in my Gray account. Then I now go down to send to save beneficiary because I already have an account in my Gray. So I tap on it. All right. So I now go ahead to type in the amount I want to withdraw 15 5 534 point zero six. All right. You now go down. The next option says, uh, Okay, after they must have removed their fee, I'll be receiving 15499.06. Alright, so this next option says select saved NGN recipient. So you now select the account number that you want to send to. You tap on it. So the next option says description. Are you writing anything there? Unless you wish to write something there, but for me, I don't wish to write anything there. So you now go over to this I confirm. You tick on this I confirm option here. You now go down to this option that says proceed. So you select this proceed option. Alright, so unlike before, it's actually saying insufficient balance. So let's try to leave some money here. Let's just withdraw 15, 5, 3, 4. Let's leave this point 0, 06. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so now tap on this proceed option here. Alright, so we successfully transferred this money to an error balance. You can see that here. Hope you remember what we did. We removed the copper side. Alright, so you can see that we've actually sent this money directly to an naira bank account. That's how it works. And the money actually delivers almost instantly. Alright, so you now go ahead to OK, got it. Alright, OK, got it. So let's go ahead and know how much profit we've made from this. Okay? So from my account, I was actually debited 10,200 Naira for this transaction. I was debited 10,200 Naira for sending $20 from Skrill to my Gray account. That was what I was debited. All right, so minus the last money that we got was, uh, that the selling price was, let me paste it here. I don't know if it will paste. Okay, let me try pasting it here. Okay, let me now come here and put minus. Let me remove the copper side because there was no copper option here. So the last money we got was 15,499 Naira. So we've made 5,299 Naira profit just with 10,200 Naira, which is equivalent of $20. And this profit is actually more than 50% of our money. All right, so you can as well make this money every day depending on your card limits and depending on the number of cards you have for international transactions, okay? All right, but if you are using WISE for this transaction, you actually make more money. So let me show you how you can use WISE for this. So if you had sent this money to your WISE account, you can either sell it as a pounds or you can convert that pounds in your wise to euro then send it as a euro or you can convert it to dollars and sell it as dollars on binance we assume you left it in pounds i want to sell it on binance so let's know how much profit you can make if you had used wise for this so you now go over here that says ngn instead of naira you now select pounds that is if you want to use pounds for this you select gbp okay you confirm it Alright, so you can see their rates per 1 USDT, 0.887, that is for today. Alright, so we have uh, 16.83 pounds. That was what we sent from Skrill to Wise because Wise will actually not remove any money from it. You now go down, let's know the ones that will sell within the limit of 16.83. 16, okay, let me just use 16 pounds. So this one is selling within that range. Let's select this particular person right now. Alright, you now come here and enter 16.83. So we'll be getting 18.60 USDT. So let's go over to our Naira balance and know how much profit we can make from this. 18.60 USDT. So you now come back here. Instead of GBP, you select NGN because we want to know the equivalent in Naira. NGN. All right, so you now go down. You come here that says amount. So let's filter it to like 10,000 Naira. Or let's make it 15,000 Naira. All right, confirm. Let's filter it. You now go to this filter option and ensure everything is filtered here. Confirm. Okay, so let's go to this cell option here. You now select. I'm not selecting this first person because he's using mobile top up. You now go down to this second person here. 
all right so let's refresh so let's use this so let's use this uh, third person here you now come here and enter that 18.60 and you see that we'll be receiving 15,996 naira 15,996 okay almost 16,000 naira because if you leave the market it can even increase to 16,000 naira so you will make more profit if you had used wise for this okay but the reason why i use gray or gig pay is because many of us don't have a verified wise account because many of us don't have international passport or driver's license so that was why i wanted to simplify it by using gray but nevertheless we still made our profit so, so that's how screw international money transfer and Nutella international money transfer works so i believe you understand everything here all right so we were actually debited 10,200 naira for this 10,200 naira for 20 dollars which was what we sent from school to gray so let's know how much they sold dollars to us so 10,200 naira divided by 20 that means they sold it to us at rate of 510 naira that was how much they sold it to us 510 naira but if you're using white you can see that you can sell a date of 800 and something naira so for gray let's know how much we bought one dollar on gray you now go down here that says currency from you select a usd and you can see that one dollar here is 855 naira we bought dollars at rate of 510 naira here and we sold at rate of 855 naira okay so that's how this works all right so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more updates on how to make money online just go down to this red subscribe button here so once you tap on it you subscribe you now go to this bell notification once you tap on this bell notification then you set it to also that once i post any videos you'll be among the first person to see it and start making money immediately okay all right so you now give this video a thumbs up by liking this video by tapping on this like button here once you like the video you now go down to this comment section and drop your comment below if you have any question okay or if you have anything to say about the video you can go down and drop it in the comment section below so join my telegram group to the link in the video description here once you tap on it you will join my telegram group to this link in the video description okay have a nice day see you in my next videos